This is a case I did last week that emphasize, emphasizes the importance of the microcatheter uh, for passing a wire through the collaterals. And in this particular case, it was an antidromic uh, snare case. And this is the target vein. And despite years of, uh, prog of uh, experience uh, and on a second try, I could not uh, get the, um, could not get into that target thing. Looked easy, but boy, it wasn't. So we use the routine Cook Amplat support wire, locate the uh, middle cardiac vein, uh, inject proximally or mid, C, mid middle cardiac vein with a vein selector uh, to identify uh, the collaterals that go to the lateral wall target vein. And you can see here we have the wire in the wrong collateral and with some catheter manipulation um, and trying a few uh, fresh wires, we were eventually able to get a wire into the collateral leading uh, to the target vein. However, the wire would not advance any further. And so here's where the microcatheter comes into play. So what we're doing is we're advancing the microcatheter um, over the wire through the vein selector. Um, and eventually we got the microcatheter uh, up into the collateral um, as illustrated here. And so now the microcatheter is up in the collateral but the wire's bent. And so what we can do is we can remove the wire, the vent wire, and put in a fresh wire uh, that goes back into the coronary sinus. Uh, from there, it's a routine process uh, where we snare the wire um, and then withdraw the, or uh, re replace the vein selector with the microcatheter and then here we're advancing the wire into the target vein. There's the microcatheter has to come back, uh, leads in, sheaths out, wires out. And of course the details uh, on how to perform the uh, snare technique are contained on the um, YouTube channel by the tips uh, so if you're interested in the details of how to perform the snare, the antidromic snare technique, that video is available. This video is intended just to emphasize the use of the microcatheter. Thank you for your interest.